So this is best to start with your hair wet. Um, I asked my client to actually come um, with the hair wet like she just washed it. So I'm just going to do a few sections just to show you because I can't be bothered to do it all right now. Sorry. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what kind of products that I used. I did get, like, watch a few videos off YouTube, which was super helpful. And then I also asked a colleague and friend of mine who's amazing at hair and been doing hair for like 20 years. So her first suggestion was mousse. Um, and then, so I went to Beauty Queens in Leicester Town, which is like your Afro-Caribbean stores. And I just read through the mousses and this one says it, it was a high gloss. So I kind of did that. It's got high gloss and a hold. So my first step was obviously to make sure the hair is wet and then also put a lot of mousse in each section. So grab your sections and do this to every single one. So as you get from like start at the back and obviously come up to the top of the hair, your hair will get dry if the client's just washed it. So definitely have like a water spray bottle on hand as well. And then really saturate it in, coat the hair really, really well. So I am lucky because I do have natural curls, so my hair goes goes quite a nice curl. Next step was I used this edge control hair gel. And I'm presuming that it's like when people do the nice curly bits on their, on their edges. And I'm concentrating this in the root. It's that really wet greasy shiny look i know some people hate this look and think it's just like someone's hair is really greasy but i'm being really generous with the product really putting it through i'm gonna look crazy with just this section done and then this is the bit where you've got to try and be careful probably to not be too messy now and keeping it smooth and then you can grab individual bits out and then Kind of curl it still. So I'll probably even use more product than this on my client's hair. So like this front section, you can actually grab and kind of shape and quiff up if need be. Also around the front, so I kind of did that wave, pinning it. Oh. I did do a makeup, so I did a hair first and then I did this and let it set. That's a fail. Uh, kind of sculpt the hair basically. And so I kind of did that wave around the front of the hair. And then I used a set in, uh, hairspray that had a bit of a shine spray in it. It's the bedhead one. And that would like put loads on to set the hair. And then, because I'm not wearing this for a long time, I'm not that bothered, I'm not going to do that step. And then the creme de la creme is this olive oil nourishing sheen spray. It's amazing. This is like three quid, I think, for this huge tub as well. Same with that. That was only $3.99. I did use a lot of it for a hair. I probably used half a pot. So I have that in mind if you're going to do this for a client or yourself, like you will use a lot. And then probably I've used about this much of that. So this was $2.99, $3.99. And then about two, three ninety nine. So this is super shiny. So, like I said, mousse first, the gel kind of stuff for a uh, second, then the hairspray to set. Then this is a finishing shine spray, and I was really generous with this. Made it really glossy. So I'll just put this on my dry hair so you can see the nice shine that it gives. I can remember using this product years ago and I hated it. It was far too shiny, far too oily. And it's kind of reduced the oily now. Like before it used to go on the skin and made the skin really oily, which also looked nice as a shine. So you could actually put it on the skin as well. Um, but sometimes when I was using it on brides, it was obviously going oily in places I didn't want it to. Um, so yeah, that was it. And just be generous with the product really. And then I styled her hair, obviously all of it was wet. And then um, I left it to set while I did the makeup. By the time I'd done the makeup, took the pins out and it was all stayed in place. And she said that it stayed in place all night. So yeah, go take a look for these cheap bargain ones. You haven't got to spend too much money. I did find a YouTube video that I found and liked. He used rather expensive products. So I'm glad I didn't have to do that.